purple on this one, but I'm going to do black. to leave the top ones open. So this is what your lotion looks something like. Okay, so now we're going to start looming. Alright, you're going to start on either side, going underneath the leg, and underneath the little holding bands that you put down, and get the bottom two and loop it forward. It should form a teardrop shape. And you're just going to keep looping this all the way to the top. So, even on the arms peg, it's going to be a little difficult because there are arms. But you need to go through every single band but the ones on the bottom too. But the bottom too. And sometimes what I do is I get the band from here and pull it outward so then on the bottom, it would be pulling outwards so I know which bands to grab. It kind of makes it easier for me. I don't know about you. And then do it again. And just keep going all the way until you get to the top. And you're going to do the same thing in the middle. But instead of going inside, you don't have any bands to go inside. So you go on the outside and grab the bands. And again, you're just going to keep going upwards. And this is where you can speed off ahead, for those of you that like to speed off ahead, like me. And you're just going to pretty much just continue looming on all three sides. And I'm just going to speed up a bit. I'll go a little faster, like my normal pace. I'm going a little slower than my normal pace right now because I don't want to go too fast for you guys. I want you guys to stay on the same level as I am on. Okay. And it's okay if you grab one band at a time, but it's just faster if you grab both. And I'm just going to hold the loom in between both my legs. And the three purple bands are going to be a little thick. Alright, so I have finished looping up all my bands and this is what it looks like. Alright, so now all you need is three C or S clips. I recommend C clips, but if you have S clips that are perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. But C clips are smaller for this and you don't need to attach it to anything else. So, yeah, you're just going to get the top three bands and hook it on the C-clip, all of the bands. You can even tie a slip knot, but I will use C-clips just for this video. And just grab it, only on one side, you don't need to do both sides. So like this, so far I just need to get the middle one. And make sure you have all the little, little rubber bands because you don't want it to open up. Alright, so now is the part where you take it off. But be very careful if you're going to take it off with a C-clip because you do not want any bands to be going anywhere. And then you can sort of pull it off but carefully. I don't like pulling off too much but Sometimes I do. And it's going to be a little thick around the arms again. Alrighty. So, when you first take off, take it off the loom, it's going to look like this. Or something like this. You're going to want to maybe scoot the tops together if you need to adjust it, stretch it out, fix his arms or legs whatever you need to do, and there you have it. You have your Enderman, and I have two. So let me see if they're the same size. Yep, they're both like the same size. It's like a double Enderman now. But it looks like an octopus. If you put it together, it looks like a, an Enderman, op, an Enderman octopus. 
octopus. Okay, whatever. I'm getting really tongue tied today. But that's it. That is your Enderman. And stay tuned for our creeper, our zombie, the spider, the skeleton. Don't forget it's bow and arrow. The pickaxes. And I will have a video for the pickaxe because I've recorded one. Don't forget Steve and his diamond pickaxe. And then I have a torch. So that's all I have for the Minecraft series. And I do want to make more. So I hope to see you guys in my next video. Please comment down any video ideas and tutorials of things that you would like to do. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.